this experience na hindi ganun kadali ang maging visually impaired. So, hanga ako dun sa mga estudyante ng Philippine National School for the Blind. Pagkain pa lang to, what more? Hindi po pa nilang ginagawa. So, hanga ako sa inyo. Um, we can learn from you and I will never forget this experience. Um, matuto ako dito. So, thank you. I just um, trying to figure out what my food was and figuring out how I couldn't even determine how much food I was getting onto the floor with the spoon and I kept missing, you know, from the spoon the fork to my mouth. And then now that dinner is almost over, how do I get up and find my way to the door to the restroom for that matter? So, yeah, it's it's um, it's something. It's a lot. Of, a lot of the stuff that we experience are things that we don't really think about on a daily basis. So yeah, it's very very important. Uh, okay, some experience. Uh, I wish uh, sinama ko yung anak ko para para mapili niya how blessed he is. And uh, uh, we're lucky to have James Paki. And I believe yung wife ko na wala. <laughs> it's, also, it's, it's, a, it's a nice experience and definitely uh, we share it with the people. Yes. I use my hand to feel what's on my plate and uh, to feel the texture if uh, if it if it has bones or something that uh, that was that I have to remove from my mouth and that. so I had to use my other senses to make to help me eat, eat properly. And that I, since my kids are here, I have to check on them if they're, they're able to do it on their own or if they need help, which I later on realized how I uh, how I would help them because I couldn't see. Okay. Um, how did you feel? Um, it was hard because you didn't know what your food was and yeah. It was hard. Because um, we didn't know where your food was, and uh, you just needed to feel everything around you to know where you were.